Hi Church in Latin America, this is Ray Comfort here in Southern California. Who would have believed that this would happen? The whole world has been turned upside down. It's terrible, however, there's a silver lining. Something wonderful is coming because of it. In all my years of sharing the gospel with the unsaved, I have never seen people so open to the things of God. I've never seen people so considering their own mortality. I've noticed that people are thinking about the things of God because they're being faced by their mortality. So be encouraged. No matter what you're going through, give God thanks. The Bible says give thanks in everything and for everything. Even when Sam's been a bit naughty, you just sit still for a minute, Sam. Okay, you just stay there. Good boy. You know, I can't help but think of, uh, (laughs) he's a little bored, uh, of a story of a a man who had to get to a certain village in a snowstorm and he came to a river. And he noticed the river had ice across it, and he thought, can I get across this river? And he he tapped onto the ice. It seemed solid. It seemed to take his weight. He got a six-foot stick and hit it right out and further out into the river, and it felt like it was solid. So he crept out on his hands and knees, hoping that any second he wouldn't fall to an icy grave. He was just terrified, sweat pouring off his forehead and heart pounding. And after about... An hour, he'd only gone about 15 feet, inch by inch, always terrified with every move that it could crack, and he'd die. And suddenly he sort of heard a sound that just amazed him. It was a man singing, and he looked behind him, there was a man with a horse and a cart, and it was filled with coal, and the guy rode right past him onto the ice with a horse and cart filled with that coal, and smiled at him, he went past. And he realized that ice was solid right through to the bottom, and he could stand on it, it would take his weight. And so it is with God's promises. Don't be fearful. Don't sweat. Don't let your heart pound. Fret not yourself, the Bible says, because God is in control and his promises are sure and steadfast. They are solid. You can rely on them. So read the word daily. Trust in God. Give thanks in all things. And uh, God will take care of you. Have his promise on that. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things will be added to you. Isn't that right, Sam? (laughs) God bless you guys.